especially in Africa and over in China and all this right here. You know why the people in Africa and over in China, you know why they see the dead raised? You know why they see people delivered, praise God, from demonic spirits? You know why they accept the gospel and get saved like they do? Because they're not being polluted with garbage from the nation, amen to God. They, amen to God, receive God's Word gladly. Yeah. They're not being led astray. When they hear the word, the real true Word of God, they accept it like a child would. Amen. We've complicated God's Word today. We've quit praying. They pray over there. You know why they pray? They pray because they're really seeking God. Because praise God, when they pray and they read their Bible, they get persecuted for it. We Amen. ain't got persecuted. Amen. Amen to God for reading the Bible, for preaching the Gospel. Amen. We don't know what persecution is. We think if somebody cuts us off, amen to God, oh God, that's just awful. That's like getting stoned like Stephen did. Yeah. They're actually getting that done to them. They're getting their faces. Yeah. One woman, I think a couple of issues back, one woman or man it was, had their face burned with a blowtorch yeah. for the cause of Christ. Amen. And you think, praise God, you're persecuted. What a spoiled nation this is. Amen. Needs to get saved all over again. Come on, say it again. Oh, this nation needs... Let me, let me say it to the camera right here. Come Praise on. God. Don't edit this out. America, you need to be born again. Come you on. need Jesus Christ. Amen to God. You need to get saved. Amen. Obama, you need to get saved. Come on. Hallelujah. Preach it, brother. Praise God. Amen. Tyler, say it again. Preach it, brother. Amen. This nation, 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people, which are called by my name. What's his name, church? Jesus. Jesus. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and what? Pray. Pray. Say it again, brother. Pray. Say it out loud, everybody. Pray. Pray. Shall humble themselves and pray. pray. I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Go with me to God. He's telling us right there. If you would repent and pray. Come on. God's going to heal this land. Yeah. God's going to set you free. God's going to turn some things around. Come on. Praise God. But we need to be praying. We need to be a praying church. Amen. The, oh, glory to God. The, 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 amen to God. The church in the book of Acts was a praying church. Brother Bill, they couldn't have got the Holy Ghost if they didn't pray. Come on. But see, I believe we can't come together in one mind and one accord until we pray. Come on. That way we can all be like Christ. Amen. Amen to God. Because we've all got the Spirit of God in us. Amen to God. And if we're truly, amen to God, in one mind and one accord, we're going to be like a magnet. You ever take a magnet and stuck it to a refrigerator? Yeah. That's the way we're going to be towards each other. Because He's going to pull us all together, amen to God. Because I tell you, one can put a thousand to flight. Two oh. can put ten thousand to flight. Three can put a hundred thousand. Four can put a million. Do the math, amen to God. Come on. See, you don't realize the power we have in the name of Jesus. Amen. But you got to pray. Yeah. Hallelujah. Without prayer, praise God, you can't be delivered. Hallelujah from the bad things that's happened in your life. Amen. Glory to God. You've got to pray, pray, pray. Hallelujah. Let us pray, church. Come on. Without prayer, you can't have the courage in the times of trial and tribulation. Amen. Go to verse Amen. number 20. Amen. In Philippians 1 here. According to my earnest expectation of my hope, that in nothing I shall not I shall be ashamed, but with but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or death. See, Paul here is saying it doesn't matter, praise God, whether I live or die, it's all about Jesus. Amen. See, God, what he's going to do here, he's going to give you the courage you need, the boldness you need to do what he's called you to do. Amen. Amen. Come on. I'm going to need another water. Praise God. Wow. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm about drunk and gone. Hallelujah. We need courage to do what the Lord has called us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Courage is fear that has said its prayers. Amen. Come on. Can I say that again? Courage is fear that has said its prayers. Fear is false evidence appearing real. It's the opposite of faith. Like I said a while ago, you mix faith and praying together, you're going to get something big. Amen? Come on. Acts 4.13 says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, yeah. they marveled. 
Come on. See, they prayed. Amen to God. Yeah. They took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. You know, when you've been with Jesus, people know it. I mean, you come out looking different, amen to God. You've yeah. got a glow about you. Yeah. You've got, amen to God, the glory of God is all over you. When you've truly, excuse me, when you've truly been in His presence. Come on. You know, back then they would take a prayer shawl, cover up. Yeah. Amen to God. But we need to take these prayer shawls off and let the glory shine. Come on. We need to let the glory shine bright in the world of darkness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know if this is helping anybody tonight, but I'll tell you, it's helping me. It's encouraging me. It's helping me, praise God, to know I need to pray more. Good preaching. Hallelujah. Without prayer, you can't live like Jesus. Amen? Come on. Verse 21, For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. If you want to be like Jesus is, you've got to pray. Because He did that every day, praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Everything He did, like I said a while ago, He prayed. Come on. Pray, pray, pray is the answer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Without prayer, you can't see the fruit of your labor. Verse 22. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I want not. Hallelujah. You've got to know that there's a devil loose and you've got an enemy. There's a battle going on today out here. Come on. And to beat the devil, you've got to pray and use the Word of God. The Bible says in Ephesians 6.18, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Praise God. You've got to pray. That defeats the devil. Amen? Come on. We have a work that only can be done by prayer. John 15, 7 says, If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. I truly believe, praise God, when you're abiding in Jesus, you're praying that word out, amen to God. Come on. Keeping you in His will, praise God. And that will get you, help you get the work done that He's called you to do. Amen. Go down to verse 16 in John 15. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Glory be to God. That ought to get you excited there, amen to God. You didn't choose to serve Jesus. He chose you, amen to God. Come on. Just like all the disciples, Brother Bill. Praise God. He chose them. Amen to God. They wasn't the best sophisticated, educated guys around. They were burly, rough fishermen. Praise God. One was a tax collector. Amen to God. He chose them because he knew. Amen to God. They didn't see much in themselves, but he seen all in them. Amen to God. Whoa. Aren't you glad you've not chosen him, but I have chosen you, he said. Amen. And ordained you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen to God that you should go and bring forth fruit, amen, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye ask of the Father in my name, He may give it you. Come on. Glory to God. The work He sent you out to do, you pray, praise God, because He's chosen you and He's ordained you, praise God. He's got a purpose for each and every one of us in here tonight. Don't sit here and think, praise God, you may not stand behind the pulpit or get on the radio station, but He's got a purpose for each of you. Amen. And I'll tell you, we tell those people at the nursing home that, hallelujah, and they're believing it, praise God, because they've not heard that word. They've not heard it preach, Brother Rodney. They've not heard it. Praise God. They've even told me, well, you may need to tone it down a little bit. No, the word we're presenting them is bringing them life. Hallelujah. Y'all have heard me testify about this. But that one dear lady, hallelujah to God, that sat in there like in a catatonic state, she just sat there, no movement, no words. We were saying the word of God, amen to God. And she said, God is good, amen to God. And she has been talking ever since. Chris will tell you, amen to God, is a witness, won't you, brother? Hallelujah. They are getting touched up there. They are looking forward to that. I thank God for that nursing home ministry. Thank you, Jesus, for it. Boy, it makes you humble. Praise God. It lets you see what God truly has blessed you with. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. For me, I can't do things like I did 100%, but you know I do things a whole lot more better than they do. They're sitting in a wheelchair up there having to be pushed around with tubes in their mouth and stuff. Praise God. I ain't got no reason to complain. Amen to God. i got a reason to rejoice because my Savior is faithful and great is His faithfulness. Somebody shout somebody. 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 Glory to God. The secret to all failure is failure without prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to pray. Number seven. We're almost done, I promise. Without prayer, you can't find direction in God's will for your life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We need now the, the leading of the Holy Ghost in the church. Hallelujah. We need the Lord to, to lead us in the choices we make. 
Hallelujah. We need to be led by the Spirit because He won't lead you astray. He'll lead you down the right path. Amen. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And the last thing, and this is important to me. It's all important, but this one right here gets me. Without prayer, we can't contribute to the progress and spiritual growth of others. Come on. That's good. You can't help somebody if you ain't prayed up. Come on. You can't teach somebody if you ain't prayed up. Praise God. You can't preach to somebody if you haven't spent time with the Father. Come on. You can't give them the words if He hasn't given it to you. Amen. I truly believe this. Everything I preach is something that's applied to me. Yeah. And I tell you, that right there will minister to people. Amen. Because I tell you, I don't have it all figured out. Brother Billy, I ain't got it all figured out. Come on. Hallelujah. Those things I still don't know, but God, amen, God will reveal to me later on down the road. Amen. There's answers to questions I've asked him that I still ain't got the answers for. But God is God. Amen. And I'm not. God is God. Yeah. And as long as He's God, I'm okay with that. Because you know why? The day He quits being God, then I'm concerned. Yeah. Because when He gets off the throne, then oh man, we're all in trouble. Amen? Come on. Praise God. Without prayer, you can't contribute to the spiritual growth of others. Hallelujah. Go to verse 25 and 26. And having, in, in Philippians 1, And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you for all your furtherance and joy of faith that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by my coming again to you. So as easy as it would be to just go on and be with God, remember that time in you had, was it with text message that, or, or maybe they talk about it here. Remember that time how I told you, I said, boy, it sure would be nice just go on and be with the Lord. And Brother Billy come back and he said this, yeah, but what about those that are lost? Come on. Sometimes Amen. we get selfish about this. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But it's amen to God. It's a blessing to get to be and minister. Praise God to those that need to hear it. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's stand to your feet if you don't mind, please. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Charles Spurgeon, he was asked a question What is the secret of your success? Somebody asked him that that was close to him. Because they, they seen Spurgeon, he was, you know, he prayed. He, he just he, he spoke the word, amen, to God. And he told the person, he said, the secret, well really it's no secret, is that I talk to the Father. And He talks to me. Amen. He said, but in that, in talking, he said, I've learned to listen. That's what we need to do today. We need to get down on our face and listen to the voice of the Lord. Amen. Because I tell you, church, and I'm being as serious as serious can be, if we don't get back to praying, we're not going to see revival happen. And, and, and what I mean by revival, I'm talking about, praise God, where souls are, are saved, Come on. where the sick are healed, where people that's bound up can be set free. Those that, that don't know liberty in the Spirit can have that. Yeah. But we need to pray. Amen. We need to pray now more than ever. Hallelujah. That is essential. And I really think, from the bottom of my heart, if the church would come back to more prayer, I think if we just had services of nothing but prayer, yeah. I think that's what we need. Because then we could praise Him better. We could do what He's called us to do better. Amen. I want to ask you tonight, praise God. I know everybody in here is born again. I know that. I know it in my heart. 